After spending even just a few minutes with Moon Spider Studios' Herald, it became abundantly clear to me that their outspoken emphasis on quality was no BS. If their goal was to make a solid first impression in this industry, then in my mind, they succeeded. Herald is an indie action racing platformer, and as mentioned, the first to be developed and published by the studio after the company's founding in 2009. Before the obstacle course races can commence, the runner's roulette must match each mortal runner with a guardian angel in training as a kind of kindred spirit. Gabe eagerly awaits the selection of his runner. An audacious runner. A true champion. A, um, uh, uh. You play as Gabe. Sort of. A guardian angel in training who must compete against the other students in his class by guiding a human charge through multiple races of obstacles in order to graduate and attend Archangel Academy. Your charge is Harold, a bumbling, clumsy buffoon with no athleticism to speak of whatsoever. So therefore, it falls to you to help him across the finish line through means of environmental manipulation and encouragement. I gotta say, my favorite thing about this game is its presentation. For an indie studio, the level of detail and the amount of love that was quite obviously poured over to make it look and animate this good helps it to compete with other visual treats, such as Rayman Legends or Child of Light, but still possess an identity all its own. It's indie really in classification only. This game is rife with AAA talent and production quality. But, as we have learned time and time again, fantastic visuals, while important, doth not a great game make. So, how's the gameplay? I'm pleased to say that it's got plenty of that, and it's quite good. There are three modes attached to each race. Practice, the race itself, and challenge mode. Practice is a short tutorial that takes you through each and every obstacle that will appear in the subsequent race. The main objective is to make it through the obstacle, but the game mixes it up by challenging you to collect all the stars within that obstacle, requiring you to think a little outside the box. Collect all the stars in practice mode, and you're rewarded an extra puff power slot in the race, which is what determines how many times you can use lightning to encourage Harold to run faster. Bonus puff power. Once you've completed practice mode, the race is unlocked, allowing you to put your honed skills to the test against AI opponents. At first glance, Harold might seem easy enough to understand mechanically, and it is. But don't be fooled by its simplicity. It can be extremely difficult, and the real triumph of the game shines in this mode. Control over Harold and the environment is incredibly simple, but it's the way in which the game continues to present new challenges that utilize these controls in inventive ways that impresses me. What's more, there's multiple paths in each race that can be taken, with secret shortcuts that you'll have to experiment with to discover and help get the best times, which are then displayed on the Steam leaderboards. Combine that with the interference mechanic, which allows you to sabotage your opponents as they attempt to traverse the same obstacles as you, and what you have here is a title with an outer layer of simplicity betraying an experience that's chock full of death. Once you've completed a race, the challenge mode for that race is unlocked. There's not much to it. You move at an increased speed through the same race, but you're tasked with collecting all the stars, and you're not allowed to fail. It serves as basically an accent to what I consider an already stellar experience. One final thing I'd like to bring attention to, and that's the soundtrack. Composed by Olivier de Riviere, it is a fantastic mix of gospel and acoustics that expertly enhances one's enjoyment of the game by both sounding terrific and changing dynamically as you play. If you're doing fantastic in a race, 
The music will change to reflect that, and you really feel awesome when it does. All in all, Harold is a treat, with high production quality and animation inspired by the very best in 2D art, such as Chuck Jones, Disney, and Studio Ghibli films. Its visuals are complemented by simple, but deep, rewarding gameplay that'll have you racing over and over again as you try to get the best times. If you enjoy 2D platformers and are looking for something to give you a challenge, I highly recommend Harold. It's fast, it's fun, it's a looker, and it deserves to be recognized as a fantastic first entry from Moon Spider Studio. It's available now on Steam for $20. This is the big competition to decide which guardian angels enter Archangel Academy. So pay close attention, young ones. These are the race rules. It's an obstacle course where you must protect your human runner by manipulating the environment. Not all runners are equal. Some are maybe slower or shorter or dumber. Or all of the above. Like, um, Harold. Let's review the obstacles. Move right. Move up. Roll down. Hold tight. Release. Catch and throw. Hit. Lick. And encourage with flash bolt. Got it? Uh, well, um, it takes some practice to really get the hang of all of this. 